Last summer, my son Jay, my other son Charlie, and my cousin and her son and the dogs were all on a hike and Jay got stung on the back of his head. Well, at first my ears started hurting like really bad and my eyes swelled shut. And here we were 20 minutes from our cabin, which is a 30 minute drive to the nearest emergency room. And we ran down about half a mile down a gravel road as fast as we could and it's, it would take so long for an ambulance to get to us. I just had to keep driving. Him saying, I love you, Mom, and I'm telling him I love you. I just followed Mom, and we went into the urgent care. He was okay, but it was the most traumatic hour of my life as a mother. So here we have this most frightening time of our life as parents, Jay having an anaphylactic reaction in the middle of nowhere, the beginning of August, 2017. And six weeks later, I went on a backpacking trip with my son Jay, my other son Charlie. And dad got stung on like his thumb. I felt this tingling in the, in the middle part of my body. And then that tingling began to rise up into my my face. I started to sway back and forth, began to lose sight. And that's what brought us to the clinic to uh, get the immunotherapy. We called our primary care physician and asked her to refer us to an allergist. She sent us to Spokane asthma and allergy specialists. It is heartbreaking to see a child who has a severe reaction, who might not be able to go to the fair, might not be able to play baseball. The most important thing, I think, um, about people that have a bee sting allergy or a yellow jacket allergy or wasp allergy that's serious is to know that there's extremely effective treatment for it and they do not have to live their life in fear of their next bee sting. Venom immunotherapy is probably one of the more effective therapies that an allergist has in their arsenal. Jay's been stung twice since then with no, no, no reaction at all. And apparently after I'm done with the venom treatment, I'm going to be like even better getting stung than an average person. So that's cool. It's like having a superpower or something like that. But then also since I know that I'm fine, I kind of just have completely forgot about it. So I can just live like normally now. As a physician, you're trying to help people. And this can be such a helpful intervention that it's very gratifying to see someone be able to achieve what you hope to achieve, which is you have this problem and the problem is getting solved.